welcome back to my channel for today's video i have my february reset and if this is your first video of my resets that you guys are watching last month i started a monthly reset where we basically just set goals for the month and i have a couple of different categories such as health goals personal goals finance goals and work goals and something i also want to add in these monthly resets that i honestly just like thought about because i used to film a lot of these videos in the past is to do a monthly favorites video so anything that i've been loving within that month i will also be sharing them with you guys because i know some of you requested for me to bring back monthly favorites and instead of just like doing a standalone video for that i want to go ahead and incorporate it into my monthly reset videos i also want to do a little reflection from the last month just to kind of like see what i liked what i didn't like so if you want to reset your month with me go ahead and keep watching as always, if you guys are not part of the Acknowledge Angels, please go ahead and click subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and reset for February. Alrighty, so I have my laptop right here and I actually use Notion for the very first time in the month of January. I've been like familiar with it, but I never really like dive into using it as often as I was like using it last month. So I just have my list of all the things that I want to do this month or like my goals this month. Also, I do want to mention that my January reset was more for like the whole year so if you guys watch my january reset those are kind of like a more broad goals that i want to apply in my daily life for the whole year for 2023 so for my january work goals slash for the whole year i put digital declutter which i actually did i cleaned out my inbox i also cleaned out my phone because i literally had no more space to like take pictures and videos like i was recording something and it automatically stopped out of nowhere so i was like okay now's the time to do it and it's great because it's the first month of the year and i know that i'm going to be taking a lot more pictures throughout the year so i'm glad that i did that i also put two to three videos every single week whether it be fashion vlog or evergreen content i think for the most part i did at most two the next one i have is to create more tiktok ig real weekly i feel like i did this really well on my tiktok um, and then I kind of just like recycled that content and uploaded it on my Instagram reels. Moving on to finance goals from January. I have invest, which again, this applies to all year round. I did, I can check that off. I also wanted to open a high yield savings account. I opened one with Ally and they actually just increased it from 3.30% in interest to 3.40. So you are getting a bang for your buck. I highly recommend you guys do that especially if you have extra money to save it's really really important to save 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 moving on i have opened a travel credit card i did i opened one with chase sapphire i feel so fancy with my new travel credit card especially because i am obviously in hawaii for the next couple months and i've been using it it's nice i feel like I see my points racking up, especially with my travel expenses. And since I'm going to be traveling a lot more within the next upcoming months, I know that those points that I'm racking up are going to pay off. The last one of my finance goals from last month is to budget and organize expenses. I'm going to go ahead and be honest. I did not do a great job at this. Um, and I don't want to like give you guys excuses and be like, yeah, it's because of this. But like, honestly, it's because I was making the move from LA to Hawaii. So I just... It was a busy month. It was a busy month. Moving on to health goals. So we have workout five times a week. I did that pretty well. However, with the move, I kind of like fell off within the last two to three weeks of January. Next up is to cook more and meal prep. I definitely cooked a lot more this month just because I didn't want to eat out every single day, especially, you know, moving to a new place. And I was like, well, that's going to be so expensive. I actually cooked a lot of home cooked meals. Last but not least for health goals, I listed to get health insurance and lo and behold your girl is health insured i am so happy to finally have insurance again it was honestly so stressful trying to like kind of figure out like which one to get if you're wondering what age i'm at to be worrying about health insurance it is at the age of 26. I'm 26 and I am officially off my parents' insurance, health insurance, and I had to do the thing. I already had Kaiser health insurance beforehand, so I feel like the transitioning was a lot easier for me to, you know, get Kaiser again. Last category in our list are my personal goals. First one is self-care dates. I would say that I went on a couple, but not as often as I want. I think I maybe 
have gone once or twice. I would like to improve that even more, maybe like a once a week. Next is read a chapter a day. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I did not read a chapter a day. I think I was doing well for like the first week of January. I feel like I need to be in the mood to read books. And then last but not least, we have social media detox once a week. I feel like there was like a couple of days of the week where I would just kind of like not post anything. Um, but I'd still be like, you know, kind of scrolling, so I'll let you be the judge of that. Let's move on to my February work goals. First things first, I have to just upload. I literally just stepped in just upload for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Because something that I've noticed with myself is that I feel like I film a lot of content and I'm like, wait a minute, like the time of this specific you know trend has passed like what's the point of putting it out for the world to see when instead of like having that mentality why don't you just upload like just just upload like i have so many videos in my drafts on my tiktok because i'm like wait i'm just gonna go ahead and wait for the summertime because it's still winter and it's kind of like a little bit weird to be posting summer content right now i kind of just like want to take myself out of that mentality to like wait for the perfect time to post instead of just posting it just post it next one on the list is to organize and plan for my february calendar i actually just got a new planner and i'm so excited because i love a new planner the smell of a fresh new notebook just gets me i'm someone who need to like list every single thing that i plan on doing or else it's never gonna happen so for february's finance goals i want to implement a no spend day during the week like it could be on a wednesday it could be you know on a thursday where i just don't spend any money like my credit card needs to be buried somewhere where i can't see it luckily i didn't memorize my credit card because i know some of y'all be memorizing your credit card don't do it it is not good so i'm happy that i've taken the initiative of not memorizing my credit card next one is to organize my tax forms um i don't know where you guys live but where i live it's almost tax season and as someone who is self-employed i get different tax forms from different brands and companies that i work with and i want to organize them and put them in one folder because some of them come through digitally and some of them send it by by physical mail so I want to collect all of my tax forms and make sure that's ready for when I get my taxes done by my accountant last but not least on my finance goals I put automized monthly deduction on my high yield savings account so basically this is where I kind of set this little setting in my account where every single month it'll just automatically deduct a certain amount of money and just transfer it to my high yield savings account i find that this is the most convenient for me to save money just because i don't have to like physically remember to do this on an exact day of the month to like move a hundred dollars to my savings account and i've been doing this for my other savings account like ever since i was like in college where every single time i get a direct deposit of a certain amount it'll auto save it and put it to my savings account so on to my health goals the first one i have is to go on a morning jog or walk every single morning and i've been doing this ever since i got here in hawaii and i think that's also because like i feel a lot safer going on walks here in hawaii than when i was in la and i like that i've been doing this every single day i feel like it really just like clears my mind and it honestly feels so therapeutic to do it early in the morning if you guys follow me on my instagram you've probably seen all of my morning walk outfits because i always post them next one is to do wrist stretches and exercises and actually get my wrist checked out because this hand right here is it's going through it guys like it is getting really really bad to the point where i think i can only put a certain pressure on my wrist now like i can't i don't know guys i don't know what's going on with my wrist but now that I, like i have health insurance i want to get it checked out because it is worrying me it is stressing me out it's also affecting my work like i can't edit four hours now because 
my wrist starts hurting and I also noticed that it's starting to have like this little bump on here like compared to this side and now that it's February 1st I need to go and get my ass and get my wrist checked out for health goals I also want to take my daily vitamins I'm currently taking gummies I have these vitamins and they have vitamin C zinc they're honestly really yummy I just have to do better at taking them our last category for this month's goal are my personal goals you just like personal to me but I am going to share them with you guys so first one I have is to try a new recipe every single week from my cookbook I got this cookbook from Target the other day and it actually has a lot of very yummy looking recipes and I think it's a good way for me to one to cook more home-cooked meals and number two to just you know get myself familiarized with cooking last but not least this is super random but I put learn how to give myself a hair blowout because I recently just got a haircut and I love 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 the length of it it's like the perfect medium length for me and I have a lot of layers and I was talking to my hair stylist when she was doing my hair I was like I don't know how to style this length but I really wanted to try and you know wear this leg and she's like give yourself a blow and I'm like well I don't even know how to do that I don't blow dry my hair I honestly just let it air dry um, as far as like hair styling I use a hair curler a hair straightener but for this month I'm going to learn how to get myself a blowout because I think it would be really nice especially with this hair length and I got myself a little hair dryer brush as well as those um, rollers the first thing I did it was actually not that bad but I definitely need to practice more but I'm glad that I dabbled into it so I think I just kind of like need to practice it more but yeah so those are all my goals for February and now I want to share some of my favorites Alrighty everyone, let's talk about my February favorites. I'm honestly so excited to bring this back in this little series of mine. I don't want to say series of mine because everyone's doing these monthly resets, but I'm very, very, very excited to share my monthly favorites again. They were honestly such a hit and I don't know why I stopped doing them. The first one on my favorites list for this month is actually this little rubber suction thing on the back of my iPhone and if you're a content creator or maybe you film a lot on your phone, you film get ready's or just like talking videos on TikTok, this is a really nice like phone tripod, phone suction cup, whatever you want to call it. This makes filming yourself, especially with get ready with me, so much easier. All you have to do is attach it to your phone and you can easily like take it off and then just put it back on. I've done that so many times and I can't believe it, like it's still so sticky. But basically you just attach it on a mirror and it attaches and you have your phone like this. Eye level, you don't have to like put it on mounts and mounts of different and make your products just so you have a little tripod. You can just attach this to like your window, your mirror, and then film get ready with me's or whatever videos you film. Like it is so handy. I got this off from Amazon and honestly it's a great addition to my little content creation tools. I cannot recommend this enough. It's super super easy to just take with you anywhere and everywhere and if you don't like how it looks on the back of your iPhone just take them off and if you need to prop your phone on a mirror on a window whatever just stick it back on and you are good to go moving on to my next favorite i actually have this beautiful pearl necklace and this is very 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 special to me and it holds very dear to my heart basically it has a beautiful pearl in the middle which is by the way real pearls surrounding it are little plumerias i believe there's like five or six surrounding the pearl and this is just the prettiest necklace and it is never coming off of me i honestly love it next one on the list is my 2023 planner and this one says my career i didn't specifically pick this because of that little saying but i think for this year this was just like the theme for it i honestly just really love how neutral it is and i love this planner by the way this one is from target and it has so much space to like write notes in and i also love that it comes with little stickers and it also comes with a ruler tab and i also really love that this one comes with different quotes every single 
for the month. Also, another great thing about this planner is that it has a weekly tips section on the upper left corner. So every week you get a new tip. And for this week, it says make a monthly budget and stick to it. There's so many things this planner offers and I honestly just like love using all of it. But let's move on to Beauty Fair Rich just because I have a couple. First things first, I have the Redken All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. This has 25 benefits in it. And I actually got this because my hairstylist recommended it to me. Overall, it's just a really nice product. I've been using this after I shower. I just like spritz it on my damp hair, let it air dry, and it is good to go. Highly, highly recommend this. I got this off from Amazon. Speaking of hair products, this is also another item that I learned from my hairstylist. This is the Color Wow Dream Coat. I'm one who always have frizzy hair just because I have wavy hair and also being in Hawaii now it's pretty humid outside so like my frizz is just kind of crazy and I feel like this one just kind of controls everything and it also adds a really nice shine. Up next I have the Rare Beauty highlighter and this is in the shade Flaunt. I actually got this in a PR from Miss Selena Gomez herself okay like I was so shook that I got a PR but I am you know manifesting that I get more PR from her because I honestly love 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 Rare Beauty. The price point is just unmatched. This is the highlighter. It's this beautiful golden bronze shade and it's just the perfect perfect shade for my Morena skin tone and it is so light on the skin and I love using this with the highlighter brush that they sent but it's like this fluffy dome brush and you just apply it and it's the highlighter that I use right now and overall it's honestly just so gorgeous and I love how compact it is. Last but not least in my favorites video I have the e.l.f. skin Untouchable, and this is in the shade Sunbeam and it has an SPF 30. Think of this as like the more affordable option slash dupe for the super goop sunscreen. If you have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know that I love, love, love the super goop unseen sunscreen. However, it can get pretty pricey, but I don't like spending money on it because I use it literally every single day. Now, if that is not within your budget, this is the next best thing. I don't know if they have other shades of this. This one comes out with a little skin tint, like it almost looks like a foundation, but once you apply it, kind of like blends into your own skin tone so I don't know if it like oxidizes to your skin tone I like that this one is a makeup primer as well as a sunscreen anyway I hope you enjoyed this February reset I always have trouble saying February for some reason but I hope you guys enjoy these monthly resets so far I plan on doing them every single month and I also like I said want to include a little bit of my monthly favorites because I do love sharing what I love and you might like them so yeah I love you guys so 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 much and I will see you guys on my next one bye